So, you're thinking about making a move to Boynton Beach, Florida, and your budget's in between $600,000 and $700,000? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go and check out four different price properties in between the $600,000 and $700,000 range and drive through the neighborhood so you can get an idea of what might be in your budget. So if that sounds like pertinent information to you in your research phase, then stay tuned. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Ryan Schultz and I work on a family real estate team with my mom, Susan Schultz, and we get calls and texts from people just like you every single day who are looking to make their move here to Boynton Beach, Florida. So whether you're moving in the next 10 days or 100 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of our description is in the description box below and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move here to Boynton Beach, Florida. Okay, so here we are. We are currently at Oceanfront Park. I just wanted to show you guys this beach really quick. This is one of the four beaches, I believe, that we have here in Boynton Beach. This particular beach is going to be open 365 days a year, and it is open from sunrise to sunset. Now, one of the bonuses of this particular beach is, I don't know if you can see behind me here, but you are going to have a lifeguard from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For example, the Boynton Beach Inlet, I don't know if you can see that all the way down there, but that area on the north side, at least, does not have a lifeguard. There's also another beach, uh, I believe it's Hammock Beach, that's just to our south, and that one doesn't have a lifeguard as well. But this particular beach does have that. And the other great option is that you're gonna be able to rent chairs and umbrellas. You can see them all lined up along the beach here. But you can see that the water today is absolutely gorgeous. You have that turquoise water. This is one of the reasons why so many people desire to move here because we have a popular hashtag here in Florida that we actually live where you vacation. And just before I started filming this video, there was a pack of manatees that just swam by. So I'm gonna include that in the clip and hopefully you guys can actually see that. So with that, we are gonna be checking out homes in the $600,000 to $700,000 range. And just for the criteria, we're gonna be looking at single family homes in all ages communities. So with that, let's head over to the first property and check it out. All right, so here we are approaching the first property. This particular development that we're in is the Estates of Windchime Lakes, and this is a very sought after community. It's actually a part of the Rainbow Lake subdivision. And this particular subdivision consists about seven different neighborhoods. Estates of Windchime Lakes is actually the only gated neighborhood in Rainbow Lakes, but this is a very sought after community because it's located with, it's actually zoned for three A-rated schools for elementary, middle, and high school. And also, all of the HOAs are extremely low. And you can see, as we've been walking through, that even though it's a very low HOA of $98, that all of the neighbors tend to really take care of their lawn. So it really keeps the, the value of the, the neighborhood up quite a bit. But this is the first property right here behind me. This particular home is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage home. It is listed for $610,000. And the total square footage is 2,313 feet, putting the price per square foot around 263 feet. It is situated on like a canal. So it does have a pretty decent sized backyard, but it is on that canal. So that's gonna be good for people who wanna do like bass fishing and stuff like that. But uh, this particular neighborhood, as I mentioned earlier, low HOA, $98. And it also has a community pool and tennis courts. And this particular property we just saw was built in 1990. So this is a, a bit of an older neighborhood, but you know, as you can see, people are really taking care of their lawns here. And the prices here have just really gone up. Like as of 2019, these homes were really more so in like the 300,000s. And now we've just seen these homes really appreciate in the last couple of years. So with that, let's go and check out the rest of the neighborhood.
All right, so here we are, we're approaching the next property and a quick funny story about this particular neighborhood is, I don't know if you can see the speed bumps there behind me, but we used to ride our bikes when we were younger on this particular neighborhood because it does have those smoother roads. And also we would just hop our, hop our bikes over the speed bumps. And the reason is, is because our family actually lives in the neighborhood right next door. But this particular neighborhood is called Bay Estates. It is a part of the Rainbow Lake subdivision. So you are gonna be still rated for those A-rated schools, elementary, middle school, and high school. This particular neighborhood was built in 1993. So, you know, pretty close to the estates of Windchime Lakes just across the street. And we are approaching the second property here. This particular home is listed for $625,000. It is a four bedroom, two bath home with a two car garage. And the total square living feet is going to be 2,390 feet, putting the price per square foot around $261. Now the thing with uh, Bay Estates is that it tends to be like a smaller neighborhood. So the way that these, these neighborhoods are designed is there tends to be a lot of lakes in this area, hence the name Rainbow Lakes. So for example, this side of the neighborhood here is going to be more like the inner ring of Bay Estates because it's going to be situated on like a smaller lake, a smaller pond, if you will. Whereas this side of Bay Estates, which is actually where this home is situated, it's going to be on the much larger lake of Bay Estates, which is nice because you can actually see it when you're driving down Gateway and take a left on jog. It's going to be great for those who enjoy lake life and want to put like a John boat in the backyard and put like a little bit of a an electric motor on your boat take the kids around for a ride go bass fishing stuff like that the other thing about bay estates is that it does have a low hoa of 88 dollars and it includes a community pool as well as like a small playground area where kids tend to go and play uh, flag football and stuff like that but with that let's hop into the car go check out the neighborhood and i'll see you at the next property All right, so here we are approaching the next property. This particular neighborhood is considered Gulfview Harbor. So this is on East Boynton Beach. It's really close to I-95. This particular neighborhood is a no HOA neighborhood built in 1973. So much older, much more mature. And what's great about no HOA is you're not gonna have those homeowner association fees. You can bring your boat, you can bring your trailer, you can bring your RV. And the other thing that's great about this particular neighborhood is that it's going to be ultimate lake life if you live on the canal. And I'll explain that in just a second, but I'm gonna show you the house. So this is the next property right here behind me. This particular home is listed for $649,900.
It is a three bedroom, two bath home with a two guard garage. And the total square living footage is 1,406 feet, putting the price per square foot at $462. Now, as I mentioned, this particular home is situated on the canal. And the reason that that's a huge bonus is because you can put a small dock back on that canal and that canal is gonna give you direct access to Lake Eden, Lake Ida, where you can go tubing, boating. And we're talking about like real boating here, like with like a gas engine, not just like electric engine. And also if you wanted to, you can take the canal system all the way up to Lake Osborne in Lake Worth. So that's just like an added bonus. You can also use, you know, kayak and uh, canoe. And one last thing that's nice about at least this property or with Gulfview Harbor is that if you can see the stop sign down there, I don't know if you can see that red dot, but if you go to the right, just down there, there's gonna be a path that leads over the canal and that's gonna lead to Calusa Park, excuse me. And that park is going to have baseball fields, soccer fields, a hockey court area. It's going to have racquetball, pickleball, tennis courts, everything you want. With also with like walking trails and everything. And that, that's also like right there near the canal. So how about I just run over there real quick and show you guys like what that looks like. All right, so here I am at the little path that leads to Calusa Park. And you can see that, you know, Gulfview Harbor is right over here. And then here's the little path. So I just wanted to show you guys real, this real quick because obviously if you're walking around with uh, your family, your spouse, your dog, you can just quickly cross right over this uh, little bridge here. And you can see uh, right behind me here that you know this particular neighbor, they have their boat situated with their dock. And I would say that, um, oh, actually there's some pretty big tilapia in here. I'm not, let me see if I can show you guys this. Can you see those? So obviously the fishing here is gonna be really good. So you can see that, you know, the neighbors have their, their boat. And also what I was gonna say is that it seems like there's about a, I would say about a 10 foot clearing. So, you know, obviously you can't be having like a boat with a tuna tower or anything, especially with this pipe here. But for the most part, the homes here, you're gonna be able to have your dock, you can have your boat, and then you can make your way to Lake Eden or Lake Ida, or you can head north up to Lake Osborne. But what I just wanted to quickly show you guys is uh, here is Calusa Park right over here. So you can see that, you know, it just opens up into like this like forest area. There's gonna be a lot of different little parking sections back here with picnic tables and stuff like that. And then right over here is where you're going to have your playground. All right, so you can see the playground is here behind me. And I just wanted to give you a slow panorama of this park. You can see it has this nice lake with this walking trail that goes around the entire lake. And if I'm honest, guys, I didn't even know this park was here. I've been living in Boynton Beach for 28 years. Didn't know, know this park was here. And uh, found it while I'm making these, these videos for you guys so you guys can get an idea of the inventory. But just on the back side here you're gonna, of this pavilion, you're gonna find the racquetball, tennis courts, basketball, baseball fields, the hockey rink. And uh, yeah, I just thought that this was a nice little bonus if you live in Gulfview Harbor here. But with that, let's head back to my car, take a drive around the neighborhood, and I'll see you at the next property.
All right, so here we are. We're approaching the next property. This particular neighborhood is called Cypress Creek, and it actually has two entrances. Currently, we are on the east entrance, and over here on the east side of the neighborhood, it's going to have smaller homes, smaller lots, but the homes are still decent size, and the lots are pretty nice size. The HOA for this particular neighborhood is $117 per month, and that does not include a clubhouse or a pool, but it does include 24-7 security. And this is the property right here behind me. So hopefully you can see that. And this particular home is listed for $675,000. It has three bedrooms, two baths, and it has a total living square footage of 2,500 feet. And that's putting the price per square foot around $270 per square footage. It is on a canal. So you're gonna have options for catch and release if you're into fishing. And something else I wanna take note of is that you can see that this particular neighborhood does not have a sidewalk. I would say it's still a nice neighborhood for families. For example, just by looking around and when I was driving through, I noticed that there was a neighbor up here actually who they went for a bike ride and they just left their garage door wide open. So. I don't normally do that in my neighborhood. I normally lock my doors when I leave, but to me, that's a sign that this is a pretty secure neighborhood. So with that, I'm gonna go and show you guys really quickly where the west side of the neighborhood is, as well as the golf course. And then I will show you guys around the neighborhood. All right, so let's go and check that out. All right, so here we are at the golf course. And as you can see, this golf course used to be a functioning golf course. It was maintained and now it's not. The reason I wanted to show you this is because when I spoke with the listing agent, they told me that the residents of this particular community here at Cypress Creek, they're not familiar with what's gonna to happen to the golf course. They're not sure if it's gonna be sold or if another company is gonna come in. But at the end of the day, I'm still seeing residents riding their golf courts around or using it as like a nature trail. So, you know, in the meantime, you can still use it for walking around with your spouse or walking around with your dog. But just a, a quick summary here. so. This was, this over here is the east side of Cypress Creek. So you're gonna have mainly your three bedroom, two bath homes. Whereas over here on the west side, you're going to have larger homes, larger lots. Now, for example, this particular home here behind me, the yellow house is listed for $1.5 million. That is a five bedroom, three bath home. And both of these sides of the neighborhood are going to have the same HOA, so $117 for the HOA. And they're both going to have the man security gate, but there's not gonna be a clubhouse or a pool or anything. But in terms of information regarding the golf course, you know, if you're happy to watch this video, if it ha happens to be six months or so after the video is posted, if you're looking to know more information, feel free to reach out to us and I'll definitely try to figure out, you know, what's going on with the, the homeowners association and, and whatnot. But in the meantime, if you guys are planning on making a move to Boynton Beach, we see that the demand is going up, especially as we're entering into the summer months and people typically move more when their children are no longer in school and they're trying to buy a home before the next school semester starts so if that's you or if you happen to be in a different demographic and you're looking to make a move to South Florida we'd be happy to help you make that move so whether you're making a move in 10 days or 100 days feel free to give us a call shoot us a text send us an email and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Florida and with that said let's go and check out the neighborhood